right? Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kabdadash, Rabbi Thom, double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, the Ruel, and the salute and the Shalom to all the Hakim that are out there laboring, and pushing this truth in all sincerity and in truth. All right, um, Right, uh, Yahweh already told us who's he, who's he going to have mercy on. Right, he already told us that. Okay, so you can't change it. All right, because it's already been written. Who Yahweh? What you? Who Yahweh? Bashem Yahweh Shah will have mercy upon. This is uh, Romans 9, and see. Okay, come on. Here it is. All right. This is uh, Romans 9 and 15. It says, for he saith to Moses, I will have, because it's like, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and will have compassion, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. All right? Now, Yahweh, or Yahweh Shah, is going to have compassion and mercy on one people and one people only okay kind of says so then it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of Yahweh that sheweth mercy all right Verse uh, 18, therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he hearten, and whom he will, he hearteneth. Thou shalt say then unto me, What so, so, so like it, why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? See? Who will he, he have mercy upon then? This is Isaiah 14 and 1. <clears throat> Isaiah 14 and 1, it says, it says, For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall come, and the stranger, sorry, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right? So, Yahweh already said he's going to have mercy on Jacob. So, when did that change? When, when did that go from being only Israel to everybody else? That's not in the scriptures, right? Mercy is only for the, the nation of Israel. It's only for Yahshua Allah. Always have been and always will be. All right. Let's get this.
All right, this is uh, Isaiah 40 and 1 to 2. It says, it says, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your power. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of Yahweh's hand double for all her sins. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your power. Who is his people? The Israelites. So who's being comforted? The Israelites. Through what? Through this word. All right? Through YouTube, man. All right? But first, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. All right? This is uh, Isaiah 44 and 21 to 22. It says, Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I form thee, thou art my servant, O Israel. Thou shalt not be forgotten of me. Right? So have we been forgotten? No, we haven't. Right? Uh, Romans uh, 11 says what? Um, has Yahweh um, cast away his people? No. We're still here. All right? We haven't been forgotten. See, they say, I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. That's mercy, right? Let's get this. Isaiah 54 and 7 to 8. It says, for a small moment I have forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. Mm. Um, in a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith Yahweh, your power. Okay. And this is what? mercy right so he he had what uh, um, he had uh, forsaken us right he had uh, put us um, out of his uh, sight right meaning he, meaning he kicked us out of the land of Israel right he kicked us out of Jerusalem right but now we are being gathered right all right, we are being gathered through the word, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. All right? Hold on, so I can... Let's get Leviticus... 26. Leviticus 26 and 40 to 45. It says, If they sh shall confess their iniquity, and the iniquity of their fathers with their trans con. It's like with their trespass, which they trespass against me. And that also they have walked contrary unto me. And that I also have walked contrary unto them. And have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and then they accept the accept of the punishment of their iniquity then will i remember my covenant with jacob 
and also have Salakia and God. Uh, remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. Will I remember? And I will and I will remember the land. The land also shall, shall be left of them and shall enjoy her Sabbaths while she lieth desolate without them and they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity because even they despised my kind because even they despised my judgment my kind my judgments and because their soul abhorred my statutes and yet for all that when they be in the land of their enemies I will not cast them away neither will I abhor them to destroy them utterly and to break my covenant with them for I am Yahweh their power but I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen that I might be their power I am Yahweh Okay, so we were brought into the land of our enemies, right? But we weren't, what, cast away. All right, we weren't forsaken. We weren't forgotten, man. All right, because we survived slavery. We're still here. Okay, so we have not been forgotten, man. We're still here, man. Right? And we have received mercy. Through what? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, what Yahweh shot, man. Alright? Alright, man, through the word. Word, man. Alright? Because hmm. Malachi. Four and five. When I count four and five, it says this. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the the coming of the great and dreadful day of Yahweh. Right? And he shall turn the heart of the fathers. Like the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers. Lest I smite so like you, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Right? So we have what? This is what? Mercy, right? Because he's sending who? Because it, it, it says that he will send who? Elijah the prophet, right? Elijah came back as who? As John the Baptist and came back also as who? Abba Bivens. Right? So Abba Bivens was the sign of the mercies that was going to be upon Israel. Alright? And John the Baptist said what? He said, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? That's what? Mercy. That's mercy, right? Who the hell is this? Deuteronomy 4. And 29 to 31. Says, but if from thence thou shalt seek Yahweh with all thy heart, it's like it, God, um, Yahweh thy power, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart 
and with all thy soul. When thou art in great tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to Yahweh thy power, and shall be obedient unto his voice, for Yahweh thy power is a merciful power, he will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which ye swear unto them. All right. Now we are seeking Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, right? Plus, plus we was given what? We we was given back something. What's that? The pure tongue, right? The all right, the pure language, right? The Lashawan Kodash, right? And in the pure language is what is the names of Yahweh and who? Yahweh Shah. Let's be Zephaniah. Zephaniah three and eight. It say, it's like Zephaniah three and nine. It says, For then will I turn to the people in pure language that they may call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent. All right? Now, is every Israel now is every uh, uh Israelite calling upon Yahweh what Yahweh shot? No. But who is though? The hopeful elector, man. Let's get Nehemiah. Not sure which one it is. Kind. Zeph, it's like uh, Nehemiah 1 and 8 to 9. It says, Remember, I beseech thee the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if ye turn unto me and keep my, con and keep my commandments and do them, thou, so, so like, so like, and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of heaven uh, 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 of the heaven yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them into the place that I have chosen to set my name there right so you how he constantly said what if we confess right if we turn and seek him if we look for him He's going to do what? He's going to have mercy upon us. He's going to what? Gather us. See? Psalms 96. Got to get, got to get back into work. Psalms 96. It's like, you know, Psalms 98 and 3. All right, Psalms 98 and 3, 3, it says, He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our power. More mercy, man. Mercy is only for the house of Israel. Right? Mercy is only for Yasha Allah. Period, man. Let's get uh, Jeremiah. Fifty and four to six. They say in those days, and in kind of in that time, saith Yahweh, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, 
they shall go and seek Yahweh their power. This is happening, right? Right? So, the house of Israel and the house of Judah are doing what? Are seeking Yahweh Basham El Shai. They shall ask the way to Zion with their face, faces and thither were saying, Come and let us join ourselves unto Yahweh in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep. Sorry, my people have sorry, my people have been lost sheep. The shepherds have caused them to go astray. Meaning who? These pastors in these churches. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Mm. All right. Now, let's jump down. Let's see. Kind. Verse 20. In those days and in, in that time, saith Yahweh, the, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none. And the sins of Judah, and they shall not have found, sorry, they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserve. So our in so right, so our sins, our iniquities have been pardoned, have been what forgiven. That's mercy, right? Let's get this. Acts five. 29 Acts 29 to 31 say then Peter and the other apostles answered and said we ought to obey Yahweh rather than men the God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah whom ye slew and hanged on the tree him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. All right? So when your sins have been forgiven, what is that, man? Mercy, right? John 3 and 14 to 16, it says, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. Now, Numbers 21 and 9. That's the precept. John 3 16 alright numbers 21 and 9 it says this I'll start at 8 well 7 therefore the people came to Moses who the, who? the Israelites right and said we have sinned we have spoken against Yahweh and against thee pray unto Yahweh that he take away the serpents from us and Moses prayed for the people. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass, that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. Right? Now the serpent of brass represented who? Yahweh Shah. Alright? It says, And Moses made a serpent of brass, and set it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, right, any man, right, of who? Any man of Israel, right? Because the Israelites were with Moses in, in the wilderness, right? Everybody else didn't come, come, man, right? It was only Yasha Allah that was in the wilderness with Moses, man, right? When he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. 
and the children of Israel set set forward and pitched in a boat. Israel, right? Mercy, right? Let's get it. Say, for Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right? His only begotten son, his only chosen son is who? Yahweh Shah. All right? That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have, but have everlasting life. Right? This is speaking of who? This is this is speaking of the children of Israel who Yahweh Shah died for. Right? Plus, Yahweh Shah himself is an Israelite. Okay? So mercy is only for Israel, man. Always have been and always will be. The last one. To get Isaiah 45 and 17. All right. Oh, plus we have been uh, brought back to our remembrance who we are, right? That's mercy. See? Isaiah 45 and 17, it says, but all, so it's like, it's like, kind of. Isaiah 45 and 17, but Israel shall be saved. All of Israel shall be saved. In Yahweh, with an everlasting salvation. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Right? So, repentance, mercy, and the kingdom is only for Israel. Salvation is only for Israel. Salvation is mercy, right? Forgiveness of sins is mercy, right? Come on, man. All right, so with that, I say Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Akal Kadash, that we're honest to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, the rule well, and with that, I say Shalom.